today I'm going to read a story to you called Mouse Paint by Ellen Stoll Walsh. Once there were three white mice on a white piece of paper. The cat couldn't find them. One day, while the cat was asleep, the mice saw three jars of paint: one red, one yellow, and one blue. They thought it was mouse paint, and they climbed right in. Then one was red, one was yellow, and one was blue. They dripped puddles of paint onto the paper. The puddles looked like fun. The red mouse stepped into a yellow puddle and did a little dance. His red feet stirred the yellow puddle until, look! He cried. Red feet in a yellow puddle make orange. The yellow mouse hopped into a blue puddle. His feet mixed and stirred and stirred and mixed until, look down! Said the red mouse and the blue mouse. <gasps> yellow feet in a blue puddle make green. Then the blue mouse jumped into a red puddle. He splashed and mixed and danced until purple. They all shouted, "Blue feet in a red puddle make purple!" But the paint on their fur got sticky and stiff, so they washed themselves down to a nice, soft white. And painted the paper instead. They painted one part red, one part yellow, and one part blue. They mixed red and yellow to paint an orange part, yellow and blue to paint a green part, and blue and red to paint a purple part. But they left some white because of the cat. The And the three colors you see here are called the primary colors. They are very important because they have a superpower. They can mix to create other colors, and no other color can mix to make them. Red, blue, and yellow are our primary colors. These colors can create secondary colors. Secondary colors are green, orange, and violet, also known as purple. This circle diagram is known as our color wheel. It helps us see which colors the primary colors can make when they're mixed together. We are going to create a unique color wheel today, inspired by our story Mouse, Mouse Paint. Paint. You will get a tray at your table that has these items. You'll see some tracers, which are these egg shapes that have the word art on it. There are black crayons, a few pencils, some paint brushes, and some small trays of watercolors. We are going to create a picture with six mice, and each of those little mice will be a color. In our color wheel, so I'm taking one of my tracers, and I'm going to use a black crayon. But I did put some pencils. If you feel more comfortable with pencil rather than using the black crayon, it's a little easier to see the details when we paint over it with the black crayons. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually I'm going to write my name at the bottom of my paper and your class code. Remember, your class code will have your grade and the first letter of your teacher's name. I won't write a class code there because I want you to write your class code. So, if you are in Mr. Brown's first grade class, you would write one B. If you were in Mrs. Fox's kindergarten class, you'll write K F. And if you were in Mrs. Hernandez's second grade class, you'll write two H. All right. So I need to fit six. Mice on this piece of paper. 
I made the tracers for you if you needed help to make sure this, that they all fit. Otherwise, you can definitely draw your own mice if you feel more comfortable doing that. But I'm going to hold it down with one hand. I'm going to use my crayon and trace around the shape. So there's my first mouse. I'm going to make sure I have some space to include the rest of my mice. Alright, I did it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now I just need to make these egg shape shapes look like mice. I can do that by adding details. Like a dot for nose, two dots for eyes, and these big curved lines for ears. And I'll give them a tail, too. All right, now just to make the, the rest of the details for the my other mice. All right, I have six mice and now I'm ready to paint each of my mice. I'm gonna be sharing my paints with my neighbor. There should be a few trays for you to share and some paint brushes. And you will need to share your water bowls with your neighbors. I don't have enough for everyone to get their own water bowl. So if you're sitting near someone, make sure you are sharing your water bowls. All right, now let's paint. Oh, you're gonna notice that I've only put three colors in your paint pans. That's because I want you to learn how to mix the other colors in our color wheel. So I'm going to start by taking one of the primary colors that I have included here. I'm gonna use red first, and I'm gonna choose a mouse to paint red. Try your best to stay in the lines and I have a red mouse. Now I'm gonna clean my brush and I'm gonna move on to my next primary color, which is yellow, but I'm not gonna paint a primary color mouse right next to another primary color mouse. Instead, I want you to skip a space and I want you to paint your other primary color mouse one mouse away from each other. Cleaning my brush. My last primary color is blue. And remember, we don't want primary colors right next to each other. So skip this mouse and go to this mouse here. This one will be my next primary color, which is blue. The reason I want you to skip a mouse between each of these primary colors is because you're going to be mixing primary colors together to paint in those other mice. Okay, so here we have a red mouse and here we have a yellow mouse. The mouse that's in between those two primary color mouse or mice will be our next secondary color. So I'm gonna take a little bit of red and I'm gonna paint this mouse with some red, but then I'm gonna clean my brush and I'm going to take some of this yellow and I'm gonna mix it right on top to create an orange mouse. Cleaning my brush, I'll move on to this empty mouse here. Looking at either side, its neighbors are blue and red. So those are the two colors that I will paint this mouse. All right, I have one mouse left. And I know that I'm going to mix blue and yellow because this white mouse is next to blue and yellow. So those are the two colors that I'm going to combine here. And now I have six different mice with different colors. And I can fill in the rest of my space to make an interesting painting because we always got to think about the whole space of our paper when we make an artwork. So I'm gonna make some polka dots.
When you're finished with your painting, place all of the tools, pencils, tracers, and paint back onto the tray that's at your table. Dump your water bowls and stack them over at the sink area. If your work is still wet, put it in the drying rack and make sure that your name and class code are written in the corner. That will help the teacher put it in the right shelf in the back of the room. All right, artists, I think you're ready. Happy art making.